Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about Res Ips Locator. I am Dr. Suresh Bhadadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at Nimans Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about Res Ips Locator from the context of medical negligence, whether this is applicable in India and if it is applicable, is there any case loss? That will be discussed in this video. Res Ips Locator is a Latin phrase. It means the thing speaks for itself. In the law of tort, it is a very popular doctrine. Here in this doctrine, the outcome of the act itself is sufficient to prove the guilt of the defendant. It indicates that if the defendant was not negligent, the accident would never occur. In the law of torts, if you want to prove somebody is negligent, the burden of proof is on the complainant or the plaintiff. For example, Mr. A is a complainant and accuses Mr. B did not provide proper services. Here the Mr. A has to prove that B did not provide proper services and he is negligent. That means whoever complains need to prove the other person is negligent. However, in res ips locator, it is slightly different. The maxima of res ips locator is used in case where the proof or the evidence or an object of an accident directly points out towards the guilt of the defendant. In the background of medical negligence, it is the doctor and shows that the defendant himself is the cause of accident. For example, if a doctor leaves a scissor after the operation in the abdomen, here there is no need of any great evidence. The presence of scissor in the abdominal cavity indicates the doctor is negligent. Here, Mr. A accuses that Mr. B did not provide proper services and shows a preliminary evidence that he has undergone operation with Mr. B. And here the legal maxima will be applied and risk ips locator comes into play and the exception of the rule will be applied. And here the doctor will be considered as a guilty or negligent and the doctor has to prove that he is not negligent. I will give some of the examples for res ips locator. Leaving a foreign body object during the operation. It may be scissor, it may be mop or maybe swabs or any other instruments in the body cavity. Second example. In an exclusive allopathic hospital employed BAMS doctor that is Ayurvedic doctor and is made in charge of the ICU and if there is any death of a patient under his care will be considered as a res ips locator. Operation performed by an unqualified staff operating on the wrong limb. Failure to intubate, intubate a endotracheal tube during general anesthesia will be considered as a res, res ips locator. Let's understand how the evolution occurred. In England, that is in 1863, one of the person was walking down the street. A barrel of flour fell on his head from the two-storied building. The person who got injured came to know that this floor, the barrel of the floor fell from the second floor but he is unable to pinpoint who did it, although there was no evidence. And he went to the court telling that this so-called factory of floor is responsible. Here the court clearly said that the plaintiff gets the compensation although the, the floor mill owner said that I am not responsible but the court applied res ips locator and said that in these circumstances this barrel of floor fell from the second floor of the building which the owner was responsible and he has to take reasonable degree of care those barrel does not fall from the second floor. And here the no evidence was required. The simple evidence or the prima facie, the owner of this floor mill running the business in the second floor and not taking due precautions to prevent the fall of barrel from the second floor was enough to give compensation to the victim. 
Now let's understand whether this res ips locator is available in Indian Evidence Act. Section 106 of the Indian Evidence Act provides a scope for res ips locator. The Act provides that when a fact is, especially within the knowledge of any person, the burden of proving that fact is upon him, even though he may be a defendant or he is accused. So, there is a scope for res ips locator under Indian Evidence Act Section 106. This doctrine comes forth validating the admissibility of circumstantial evidence and or secondary evidence when there is a lack of evidence against the defendant. In other words, the absence of evidence of negligence, the act itself is an evidence here. That means the bad outcome which was under the control of the defendant or the doctor proves the doctor is negligent. Let's take one more example which occurred in India. This is Nihal Kaur versus Director PGI which occurred in 1996. Let's discuss this case. A scissor was left in the body of the patient during the operation. Then the patient's condition worsened and later he died. Scissors were recovered from the ashes after the cremation and this was notified to the court. Since the scissors were found, scissors were found and it was belonged to a hospital, the court applied res ips locator and the compensation of 1,20,000 was granted to the victim's family. Now, how does this application of res ips locator occurs? The maximum of res ips locator applies in a situation if it is related to negligence of a person. That means invariably it is a civil case. The cause of the accident was under the direct control of the defendant or the person who is accused. The accident is such a as in the ordinary course of action of the things would have not happened if the defendant used a proper care and if he was not negligent. That means the course of action is directly under the control of the defendant. Under those circumstances it is applicable. If it is applicable what happens? That is shift of the burden of proof will be on the defendant. Here the maximum of shifting the burden of proof occurs in res ipsa locator. As I mentioned earlier if any person complains against the poor services against the doctor the patient has to prove. But in res ips locator, the thing speaks by itself and the doctor is to prove that he is not negligent. Here the plaintiff has to say or provide a prime facie of evidence that the doctor is negligent and the doctor has to prove he was not negligent. That is the maximum of shifting the burden of proof on the doctor. That is an exception to the general rule that the burden of proof is shifted from the patient to the doctor. The defendant has to prove that he is not negligent. Now let's look into the elements of res ips locator. First and the foremost, there should be the presence of negligence. That means there is a duty of care owed by the doctor towards the patient. And during this duty, there is a breach in the provision of the duty of care. And that leads to the injury. Second, that whatever the damages occurs, that should be completely under the control of the defendant that is doctor. That the explanation is the event that caused the injury to the plaintiff or to the patient would not have occurred if the defendant has not acted upon negligently. That means if the doctor was not negligent, the injury would have not occurred. That means the act is completely under the control of the doctor. The evidence presented the rules out all the possibility of the fault of the plaintiff or the patient or it may be a third party. That means the patient is free from the contributory negligence under the res ips locator and the patient has to prove only the prime facie evidence or the circumstantial evidence. To explain further, Plaintiff has to establish a prima facie case either by direct or circumstantial evidence of the defendant's negligence. It does not need to prove on the probability of the case here. The court assumes there is a negligence because of the prima facie evidences. 
and the doctor has to prove that he is not negligent. Where does this res ips locator is not applicable? Under certain circumstances, this is not applicable. The negligence on the part of the defendant or the doctor is clearly is evident and without which the injury would have not occurred is the importance prima facie or the maxima of the res ips, no, ips locator. However, the non-applicability is there whenever if there is a different inference are possible. That means if there are different outcomes or the different causes can be attributed to the outcome. That means if there are multiple causes are there for the poor outcome, the defendant may not be held responsible. For example, if the patient undergoes surgery and the, doc and the patient claims if the surgery was not occurred, the doctor, the infection would have not occurred and the doctor is negligent. But here the doctor can say the possibility of infection can occur because he was already ill, the immunity of the patient was very poor, the patient did not take care of himself, did not take the antibiotics which was prescribed. All those multiple inferences, if it is there, res ips locator cannot be applicable. That means it is not applicable in those multiple causes of poor outcome can be attributed. Further, it is non-applicable in criminal cases. It is applicable only in the torts case. That means in a civil cases. It cannot be pressed in services for determining per, per se the liability of negligence within the domain of criminal law. It is applicable only in civil law. That you need to understand very clearly. In criminal cases, the burden of proof is beyond reasonable doubt. Hence, res ips locator is rarely applied in criminal case and especially in medical negligence. The criminal negligence cannot be applied by using res ips locator. Now let's discuss about a very important discussion of a case law. This is Mrs. Aparna Dutt versus Apollo Hospital Enterprises. Here, the patient had been suffering from abdominal pain for many years and she was, she was diagnosed to be suffering from endometriotic cyst and uterine fibroids. Because of this pathology, she had severe abdominal pain. She was advised major surgery that is total abdominal hysterectomy that means complete removal of uterus through abdominal operation. She gives consent and she is admitted in Apollo Hospital in June 1991. The operation was conducted and when she recovered from the surgery, she started complaining about severe pain in the abdomen. But however, the surgeon reassured that the pain is because of the surgery and it will resolve over a period of time. She went back to her house, but the pain did not stop. Even after six months, the pain continues to haunt her. She underwent again reinvestigation. In December 1991, that means after exactly six months after the surgery. And during the x-ray, they found that there was an abdominal pack left in her abdomen. And during the second operation, the doctors found there was a foreign body that is a big abdominal pack, 12 inch into 12 inch. The abdominal pack was left behind, which was strongly adherent to the loops of her small intestine. And with careful surgery, the doctor was able to remove. Here, the res ips locator was applied. The court clearly said, leaving foreign matter in the body during the operation was held to be the case of res ips locator. The doctors who performed the operation and the hospital authorities were held liable to pay compensation of 5,80,000 to the patient. And further, it is not only the doctor. The hospital was also held responsible through vicarious liability. And this is one of the landmark judgment in Indian case history with regard to medical negligence. To conclude, my dear friends, res ips locator is a Latin phrase. It clearly says that thing speaks for itself. Here more than the evidence, the outcome of the negligence because this outcome was directly under the control of the defendant under medical negligence, it is under the doctor. The maxima is related only to the negligence of a person that is under civil cases. 
it cannot be applied for criminal cases. Res ips locator is applied primarily in all primary fascia cases where at the first instance the negligence on the part of defendant is evident and without the injury would have not occurred if the doctor or the defendant was not negligent. So my dear friends, res ips locator means the thing speaks for itself. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time. Stay safe.